Hey, what's up guys? What's going on? How are you all doing? Hope you guys are all doing fine out there. So today I'm gonna share with you guys the video that I shot last Saturday at Hot Toy Secret Base here in Hong Kong. Not only got an opportunity but also got a chance to sneak out to take a video and some photos of how it looks like in the real world. I mean, compared to the promo pictures with an additional of like maybe a retouch or color correction. Probably the same but then it's still different if you saw the actual figure. So that's why I tried my best to at least capture this or just a very short, you know, video clip. So yeah, so that's why I just want to say thank you to Hot Toy Secret Base staff for letting me to take a short video except to that one small guy there who's always really hot on me. Maybe he really hates me. Maybe he really don't like me to be there somehow. But anyway, it's fine guys. Just I'm not sure why he's really into me. And of course, I just want to say thank you guys for appreciating my effort to go there and take a video of the prototype figure. You're welcome guys and again thank you also for supporting our channel thank you for staying there sometimes it's a good day sometimes it's not so you know that's life and if you guys are new here to our channel please consider to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will be notified once i uploaded a new video like this okay so without further ado let's jump right into it so this is the newly launched figure of hot toys the venomized iron man from the comic version and it is a crossover work from the artist Ko Fok Long James or known as James Ko together with the Hot Toys artist team of course so just to give you a brief history of James Ko just to be honest I didn't know him too and I'm not aware of his name somehow maybe I heard once but then maybe I forgot already and I just knew about him last Saturday also because of this figure so yeah he is one of the top comic artists writer and born here in Hong Kong so that's the reason why I'm going to order this figure is to somehow support the Hong Kong artist and I live here and I like art so I think I should uh, get this as, a, as part of being one of the Hong Kongers here and the figure is quite interesting and looks amazing I mean for some collectors it's just nah just another figure to milk collectors but the fact that they cross over with some artists and this is based on comic version I would say something new, something different, not from the games, not from the movies. I have one Venom uh, Subpinal statue and uh, Venom figure. I'm not, I don't have yet, so I think for me it's a yes. Yeah, I would order this one. The details, the patterns, the paint job, and the wedding effects are all amazing. It's almost perfect. It's huge. I think it's almost the same size to Dan's recent figure. That's why the base are big too those spider legs that coming out from its chest it is movable or poseable actually when i first saw that i thought it was a crab leg <laughs> but it looks like it however the details and the paint job are really nice and cool and i think there's some led light up effect on the chest reactor and also in the head which is a good additional features and i like that venom going around with that iron man armor it looks really cool it's amazing details right there so that's why as i said earlier something new and also for exclusive version you will get a nice symbiote sword and good thing is they added an extra head for venom because i still prefer the original venom head done with iron man head the body with the armor it's okay i wish they made it more bigger bulkier somehow even if with iron man figure inside but you know just that i uh, hope they make it bigger so you know. um so who's this figure for i mean is it worth it and do you really need to get this one or buy this one and my answer is yes for me uh, because it's part of the Hong Kongers and I live here again as I said you know he's one of the top comic artists here in Hong Kong so why not maybe in the future I should get a sign uh, for that figure from James school you know however I think this is for those who like something new and somehow who likes comic style I think for those who really like Ben or fan of Venom and into the one six figure line at the same time well, obviously for Iron Man fans too, at least you should have this or you should add this to your collection. Well, unless you don't really like comic style, then yeah, probably not. And the price of course around 350 US dollars and I think um, it's quite expensive, you know. Uh, I mean, it should be at least maybe 280, something like that, 300 US dollars. But I think it's okay. I mean, it's a piece of art of James School and this is Hot Toys. We have, of course, limited, you know. So yeah, that's it guys. Uh, let me know what you think about this figure. Uh, that's all I can say for this one. And we all have to wait for two years and you're not gonna expect me to be the first one to do unboxing of this figure because I already played because of course it depends on your VIP number card. So that's why I took this opportunity to take a video and, and photos of this figure for you guys. And hope you guys like it and enjoy it. 
If that's so, don't forget to hit that thumbs up or like button and share if you like, if you have time, if you have extra time. Thank you for watching guys. Take care, keep safe and God bless. Until then, see you later. Peace.